Hello. This is the blue shirt, blue shirt video series. Training in training in forgiveness. I have a Facebook page, Training in Forgiveness, and then I think it's Training in Forgiveness ACIM. So look for it and like it. I think I have a group too, but I don't really do anything with that. So I am gonna go ahead. And if you, you run across these and you like them, please look for me on Facebook. It's just under my name as my videos are. So I love to be connected to, to like-minded thinkers. And um, it's an honor. It's an honor. We're all one, you know. All right, so chapter one, the meaning of miracles. Section three, atonement and miracles. I'm just going to do it here. I can see a little bit better. I am in charge of the process of atonement, which I undertook to begin. When you offer a miracle to any of my brothers, you do it to yourself and me. The reason you come before me is that I do not need miracles for my own atonement, but I stand at the end in case you fail temporarily. My part in the atonement is canceling out all of canceling out of all errors that you could not otherwise correct. When you have been restored to the recognition of your original state, you naturally become part of the atonement yourself. As you share my unwillingness to accept error in yourself and others, you must join the great crusade to correct it. Listen to my voice learn to undo error and act to correct it. The power to work miracles belongs to you. I like doing that. I will provide opportunities to do them, but you must be ready and willing. Doing them will bring conviction in the ability because conviction comes through accomplishment. The ability is the potential the achievement is an expression and the, and the atonement, which is the natural profession of the child of the children of God is the purpose. Profession, yeah, I'm sorry. The ability is the potential, the achievement is its expression, and the atonement, which is the natural profession of the children of God, is the purpose. Heaven and earth shall pass away means that they will not continue to exist as separate states. My word, which is the resurrection and the life, shall not pass away because life is eternal. You are the work of God and his work is wholly lovable and wholly loving. This is how a man must think of himself in his heart because this is what he is. And that's one of the biggest things I struggle with is thinking of myself as wholly lovable and wholly loving. I struggle with that. I've, it's really interesting how we can, I don't even know where this self-loathing came from. It's just guilt, it's just unconscious guilt. And from when I was a child on up, so. It's just, it, it, it makes me very, it's sad, you know, it's just sad. And not just for me, you know, my heart goes out to, to everyone who feels this um, or who witnesses it or, or even those who don't win, witness it. I'm uh, to everyone because those who don't witness it, you know, they go around angry. Um, and I have my anger, don't get me wrong. I'm going way off topic here, so. I want way off track. I want to stay with the book, so I'm going to shut up now. All right. Now I lost my place because I rambled on. This is how a man must think of himself in his heart because this is what he is. The forgiven are the means of the atonement. Being filled with spirit, they forgive in return. Those who are released must join in releasing their brothers, for this is the plan of the atonement. Miracles are the way in which minds that serve the Holy Spirit unite with me for the salvation or release of all of God's creations. I am the only one who can perform miracles indiscriminately. 
because I am the atonement. You have a role in the atonement which I will dictate to you. Ask me which miracles you should perform. This spares you needless effort because you will be acting under direct communication. The impersonal nature of the miracle is an essential ingredient because it enables me to direct its application and under my guidance, miracles lead to the highly personal experience of revelation. A guide does not control, but he does direct, leaving it up to you to follow. Lead us not in temptation means recognize your error and errors and choose to abandon them by following my guidance. Errors cannot really threaten truth, which can always withstand it. Only the error is actually vulnerable. You are free to establish your kingdom where you see fit, but the right choice is inevitable if you remember this. Spirit is in a state of grace forever. Your reality is only spirit. Therefore, you are in a state of grace forever. You can't do anything to change that. So, note to self. Atonement undoes all errors in this respect and thus uproots the source of fear. Whenever you experience God's reassurances as threat, it is always because you are defending misplaced or misdirected loyalty. When you project this to others, you imprison them, but only to the extent to which you reinforce errors they have already made. This makes them vulnerable to the distortions of others since their own perception of themselves is distorted. The miracle worker can only bless them and this undoes their distortions and frees them from prison. You respond to what you perceive and as you perceive, so shall you behave. The golden rule asks you to do unto others as you would have them do unto you. Right, baby? Come here. This means that the perception of both must be accurate. Ooh, sorry. Um, the golden rule is the rule for appropriate behavior. You cannot behave appropriately unless you perceive correctly. Since you and your neighbor are equal members of one family, as you perceive both, so you will do to both. One second. You should look out from the perception of your own holiness to the holiness of others. Come here. Miracles arise from a mind that is ready for them. Come here, baby. Miracles arise from a mind that is ready for them. By being united, this mind goes out to everyone, even without the awareness of the miracle worker himself. The impersonal nature of miracles is because the atonement itself is one, uniting all creations with their creator. As an expression of what you truly are, the miracle places the mind in a state of grace. The mind then naturally welcomes the host within and the stranger without. The host is God. When you bring in the stranger, he becomes your brother. That the miracle may have effects on your brothers that you may not recognize. That the miracle may have effects on your brothers that you may not recognize is not your concern. It's none of your business. The miracle will always bless you. It will always bless you. Miracles you are not asked to perform have not lost their value. They are still expressions of your own state of grace, but the action aspect of the miracle should be controlled by me, me, Jesus, not me, because of my complete awareness of the whole plan. I shouldn't have gone. I wouldn't know what, I don't know what I was thinking. Jesus is speaking to us, by the way, and I, I, I know I said that before, but I should probably re remind us, remind you, remind us. Okay, where was I? The impersonal nature of the miracle mindness ensures your grace, but only I am in a position to know where they can be bestowed. Miracles are selective only in the sense that they are directed toward those who can use them for themselves. 
since this makes it inevitable that they will extend them to others, a strong chain of atonement is welded. However, this selectivity takes no account of the magnitude of the miracle itself, because the concept of size exists on a plane that is itself unreal. Since the miracle aims at restoring the awareness of reality, it would not be useful if it were bound by laws that govern the error it aims to correct. The error, E-R-R-O-R, -R -R, it aims to correct. So that is chapter one, the meaning of miracles. We are in section three, atonement and miracles. I've already read the previous two sections, um, if you need to refresh yourself. Um, and I thank you for being here with me and we'll just say a quick prayer out dear God Please grant us the serenity to accept the things we cannot change Love the courage to change the things that we can our decision and the wisdom to know the difference. I Love you God. I thank you. Thank you. Thank you for everything Look at this Amen You're in the movie. You're in the video. <laughs> I love you. Thank you. Have a great day.